My father likes to tell this story. When I was a young lad, my mother kept all the sugary treats up in the freezer, so my siblings and I couldn't reach them. Well, I was thirsty one afternoon, wasn't allowed to use the stove, so my father came home from work to discover his young son perched atop a juice box, much as a hen is atop her egg, trying to defrost it. So you might say I've had a knack for hatching new ideas ever since. There was a time when we were, uh, we were working um, on this discussion about gun control, and he just put his head down and he did not speak for what seemed like an hour. And when he lifted his head, he just said that's all there is to say about that, and he walked out. And just the emotionality behind that, all of us kept working because we knew that's what drives us. Sometimes, you know, um, I'll, be, I'll be working on, on a project and something, and, you know, he'll come in and, and he'll just, you know, his shoulders are usually hurting. Uh, he has bad problems with his shoulders, but, you know, then he, he loves to give me massages instead. But he's good at it. Brimage asked me if I could get him Sadie tickets for a woman that he wanted to impress. By the way, because I'm sure you don't know what I'm referring to, it took me 47 minutes to find out he meant Sade. Great hair. He's like a wolf, but a human being. Uh, like a wolf man, but without the killing people and eating their flesh. I see problem after problem in our world, and I know that humans have the capacity to solve them. But it seems that at every chance we get, we fail to live up to our potential. We can put a person on the moon, but we haven't figured out anything better than tennis balls on walkers.